Hello there. I want to talk about Live View versus React because since I started talking about React and Inertia, many people started commenting, hey, Daniel, I thought you were the Live View number one fan. Are you going back to JavaScript? What is going on? Did you really stop using Live View? Let me clarify a few things. I love Live View. I really do. But I also love React. And here's the thing. I have both of these tools in my tool belt. Sometimes I want to use Live View. Sometimes I want to use React. And that's okay. I can pick the best tool for the job. And today I want to do a comparison of when I plan to use React and when I'm planning to use Live View. Reason number one of when I think you should use Live View. If you are an Elixir fanboy and you just want to use one language, Live View is perfect. Just like Next.js allows you to go full TypeScript both on the server side and on the front end side with Live View, it's the same situation. You have Elixir on the front end, Elixir on the back end. So the overall tech stack is much simpler. You have one language, only one ecosystem to worry about. And I love this simplicity. It feels amazing to have just one moving part instead of many. Reason number two, fewer dependencies. Because you have one programming language, you have your mix file where you have your Elixir dependencies, and that's it. You don't have a package.json. You don't need to install Node. You don't need to install any JavaScript related stuff. You just have your mix file with your Elixir dependencies. Reason number three, because LiveView is the default front-end framework for Elixir, that means it is much easier to test. We have built-in hooks and functions from Phoenix itself that makes testing much easier. So for example, if you have a button that is listening to a search event, you can test a click and see if the event was triggered, if it gave you the correct result. So end-to-end -end testing and any type of testing is much easier if you're sticking to the default Phoenix approach to the front end. Reason number four, because you are using the default choice, you can leverage the Phoenix generators, especially the auth generator. If you're using React on the front end, unfortunately, by the time that I'm recording this video, you only have two options on the auth generator. You can either use dead views, which means HTML or live view. You don't have a third option. It would be really cool if we had a third option, but we don't. We have live view and HTML. So if you start using React on the front end, you can no longer use the auth generator from Phoenix which is a shame. It's like capping the power of Phoenix. You're leveraging 80% of the full power of Phoenix if you choose something other than Live View. Reason number five, real-time features. It is ridiculously easy to implement real-time stuff with Phoenix because Phoenix and Live View, they work using WebSockets under the hood. Everything is using WebSockets and it is a server-driven approach. If you want to have a notification system, chat system that automatically receives an update on the front end whenever an event happens, then using Phoenix is going to be a breeze because Phoenix was built for this. So if I were to build like a WhatsApp type of application with real-time communication, I would most likely stick to Live View because Phoenix was built for this. Now, what about React? When do I recommend using React? React uses JavaScript under the hood, right? And JavaScript is probably the biggest ecosystem that we have out there. If you need a package for anything, it is available for you on JavaScript. Now, I cannot say the same for Phoenix and Elixir. Maybe if you have a very niche problem, and you don't know how to solve that problem without the help of a package, you're going to have a hard time finding that package on the Elixir ecosystem. And then on JavaScript, you can solve anything with a package. That includes UI libraries. If you want to use ShedCN or Chakra UI or any other React compatible UI library, you have them available. I love this. I can just pick ShedCN and have a 
beautifully looking front end by default. We do have a couple of UI packages for Elixir and LiveView, but most of them are paid. It's not widely adopted. The support for the package is not going to be the same as a package used on the JavaScript ecosystem. So yeah, the package ecosystem in general is much better in React land. Reason number two, there are lots of learning resources, documentations, tutorials, blog posts. So if you are dealing with a very hard problem, I am sure there will be a tutorial out there teaching you how to solve that problem. And because Elixir and LiveView are very niche, if you're dealing with something super specific, then it's very unlikely that you're going to find a tutorial teaching exactly what you need. And as a consequence of having lots of publicly available content, you have amazing LLM support. I can use literally any model, Claude, GPT-4, Gemini. The results from AI are amazing. They're great, out of the box. You don't need to add like a custom configuration, a rules file. If you do nothing to configure the AI, the results are going to be great. Unfortunately for LiveView, that's not 100% true. You're going to have to write a bunch of rules files, correcting the mistakes from AI. You're most likely going to have to link the official documentation on the chat to get better results. React is just the default from AI these days. You can just ask for anything and the results are going to be amazing. So if you want to move fast and use AI driven development, then React is going to help you a lot. Next reason, in the same way that it is very easy to build real time features on Phoenix, it is very easy to build client side heavy stuff on React. Now, sure, these days we have React on the server, you have React everywhere, but initially it was created as a client side only library. Even if you are using 10 stack start or Next.js and you're doing like server components, server side rendering, even if you're doing that, you're still allowed to add a use client on the top and then just move on with your life and use client side heavy stuff like use state, use effect and build very complex UIs. So let's say, for example, that you have a multi-step model. How hard is it to implement this on React? Well, that's very easy. You're going to wrap your model inside the use context hook and then have a global state that is available throughout all the steps on that model. On LiveView, you can do that. You can either have a bunch of custom hooks or use the JS module, but like the state itself is probably going to be stored on the server. And then every time you move on to the next step, you're going to have to do a round trip to the server to fetch the current state of the model. And then on React, everything is client side. It's just there. So the UX is much better. There's no server involved. You're just updating the state locally. And then that happens immediately. There's no round trip to the server. And let's be honest, use state is so easy. If you want to build a model that is either open or closed, you have a state called model open, model closed, or something like that. And then you just flip that to open and close a model. It's so intuitive, in my opinion. And then if you want to do something like this on live view, and you do not want to do a round trip to the server, you're going to have to use the JS module from Phoenix, which is good, but it is more focused on adding and removing classes. So for example, if you want to open a model, you're going to have to do js.toggle class and then play around with the hidden class from Tailwind, which is not the same as use state. You know, this is not a state. You're removing and adding classes to UI components. And I don't like that. I don't think that's intuitive. I think it makes sense to have a variable that defines the state of a component. So it is much more intuitive in my opinion. And then final reason, if your goal is to maximize your job opportunities and your employability, it should be a no brainer to pick React. And look, you can be a Rust developer, a Python developer. I know that if you're working with the web, even on mobile, it's going to be mandatory for you to learn React at least once in your lifetime because React is the go-to language for the front end. So it's inevitable that someday you're going to learn it. 
better sooner rather than later. Much better to learn it now, get that job, and then add React to your resume. So to maximize job opportunities, picking React is a no-brainer. The TLDR is pick React if you want the go-to solution. You want the most widely adopted solution. And because it is the most used solution, you have amazing tutorials, amazing LLM support, lots of learning resources. And if you're building a client-side heavy app, then React should be a no-brainer. Now, as you can see, we have good use cases for both of these. It is impossible for you to come here and say, hey, LiveView is trash, just use React. Or the opposite, hey, React is trash, just use LiveView. Well, I have good reasons to use both, you know. On my last project, I used LiveView on Tech School. I have zero regrets. It was an amazing solution for that project. On my next project, I'm using Inertia and React, and it has been an amazing experience. And I am loving to go back to my roots, which is React on the front end. But you have good reasons to use both, okay? So let's not trash none of these options. They're both amazing, okay? So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.